Okay, we're gonna film this with my phone, which is on its little tripod on top of a box. Uh, yeah, because I just don't feel like getting the big camera and boom and stuff out. <laughs> but I'm so excited because I got a happy mailbox. This is from Connie Kruger. Connie, thank you very much. Um, I will tell you I opened it already and got a little peek in. Hang on, let me fix the camera lens. There you go, so you can see my face better. Um, I did take a little peek in the box because the ladies at the P.O. Box were so excited um, that I got Happy Mail. Like, can we get a peek in? Can so I did get a peek in the box, so I've seen what's like on the top couple layers already, sort of. But I'm going to um, open it right now on camera and we're going to check and see there is a note in the box. Which I haven't read yet, but I will read. Paper towels, which you know I'll reuse, Connie. I know it's not like the point of why they're in there, but you know I'll reuse them. Um, okay, so cool. Let me read the card, because it was on top, and I'll be right back. Okay, first of all, Connie, thank you for the great card, and I did read the card. There's something for the husband in here? He's gonna be so surprised. Y'all know I'm gonna have to film that when he gets home and put it on camera. I'm gonna have to add it to this. So stay tuned for the end. <laughs> yeah, the video's not over till you see his face. But anyway, look at the card she made. So cool. There's lots of miscellaneous bits and pieces in here she thought I could use. Uh, and right off the top, there's a bunch of, um, it feels like um, polar fleece. And these uh, blue, this blue color is really great. I'm going to be using these on some of the teddy bears I think that I want to make. I think by themselves they may be a little small to cut the bear bodies out of, but I could definitely use them for the bear stomachs and stuff, but I'll see. I know you probably just used it for filling, but it's a great color by the way. Okay, here's a first little bundle. These are some wooden words she said were in here, live dream and laugh. I love that. I'm going to have to um, make something with those and I have a collab project coming up that I need to film soon, like Monday maybe. Um, next week I'm going to be filming all my commitments for the rest of the year to catch up and get ahead. Um, anyway, these might work for one of those, so watch out for that. I already got an idea for them. Here's another piece of that. Here is some Daniel Smith watercolor ground, which is great stuff. It's a great gesso and primer. I really love it. Nice, nice, thank you. Okay. Giant letter G, oops. Regina. Yeah, that works for me. I'll have to decorate that and put that somewhere too. There's just so much stuff. So there's a big thing in here which makes the box really heavy. Connie, thank you so much. It is a pasta machine for my clay. This is so cool. It'll make making the little clay tiles so much easier. stuff okay okay this is a little something for your hubby so this is the one that I am going to wrap up and set aside put that back up he's gonna be so surprised a magnifying glass you know I could use that <laughs> there are times there are so many times when I need that so that's going to come in handy. A, a, a um, snowflake punch. I'm losing my words today. Okay, here's something wrapped in bubble wrap. Bead necklaces. Oh, cool. 
They're like seed bead um, necklaces. Can y'all see that? Those, these take such intricate work. I used to um, work with a lady at the artist cooperative shop that did these kind of things. There's a whole bunch of them. Let's let's open one because there's a lot of stuff in this box. But let's pick one out. We can admire Connie's work. Look at that. It's like a choker. How pretty is that? And I know it's a necklace and it wouldn't, it doesn't have any strength to it, but how pretty would that be just decorating a, a journal cover as a closure? I have a fat neck, so I don't know. Oh yeah, it does fit. So pretty. All right. See if I can get it back in there. I don't have my reading glasses on. Um, okay, but well, we have that magnifying glass handy, <laughs> just in case. All right, here's some more of the polar fleece. Here is a mold, a silicone mold, which I love. Was using those recently. Here's another one, a feather one. What is this? It's a sticker with scary clowns on it. It's kind of a cool sticker, but it's got scary clowns on it. Um, there's some brushes in the bottom here. Another piece of polar fleece hiding. Um, some stiff, like stippler um, and a, an elastic band. Stippler type brushes, um, like blending brushes. And this is a makeup brush. It says powder brush, so I'm going to assume makeup brush. The thing is, I like makeup brushes for making marks in my paint. I mean, I do wear makeup every now and then, but not enough that I need any. I have plenty of brushes. I can't get the paper off right now, but yeah, that's going to be cool. Okay. Oh, here's another scary clown. I think that's supposed to be the Joker, maybe? Um, a pair of decorative scissors. Some fast dry acrylic latex caulking. And she said something in the card about this and that you could put it in the mold, let it dry, and take it out and then it's paintable. So we're going to have to try and experiment with that. She gave me a whole brand new tube of it. I almost poked myself in the eye, didn't I? Because you know... Wow, there's a bunch of stuff. Some jewelry parts. Ooh, a bunch of cool little containers. Oh, these say Gerber, so these are lids from some baby food or something. Oh, old school bottles. Let's see. Ooh, more jewelry parts. That looks like chain. There's some paint in here too. Whoa. Plast uh, little seahorses and, and starfish. I don't know if they're plastic or let's open that just a second. Let's see what's in the bag. Another empty container. A pill box. Hopefully you didn't send me your pills, Connie. <laughs> oh no, they're full of beads. That's actually a clever idea. Yeah, different sort of like, what do you call them? Beagle beads, those long tube beads. Yeah, different colors, different sizes, some silver. See, like that. It's actually a cute idea. What else is in here? Um, some other beads, more beads. They kind of look like some of the beads that I've had in my grandmother's collection of rosary making stuff. Some more empty bottles. What is this? So soft tulip sterling glitter washable. I think it's fabric paint. Fabric paint, yeah. It's in sterling and silver. So that's cool. Something you don't know, I do have a little bit of fabric paint. 
And there's some books in the bottom. Let's see what those are, shall we? Put the box down at the underneath the table. Huh. Holidays, the holidays made by Tiffany. Holy cow! Let's, let me not show this one to my daughter. She's a big fan of Tiffany. Wow, there's some cool images in here. And I love the colors. Look. So it's a Tiffany catalog. Is it a current one? Does it say? Oh, well, it might say in really little teeny tiny printing. That I can't read right now. But that's cool. All right. What is this one? Oh, it's another Tiffany one. I'll hide these from the daughter. Here's another Tiffany catalog. This is number eight. Does this one have a number? This was just holidays by Tiffany. This is Tiffany catalog number eight. Because evidently they numbered their catalogs. Wow. There are some cool images in here. Really cool things for um, collage backgrounds. The color inspiration journal, some great faces. Oh, now who just wouldn't love all their luggage to be the same matching blue color? I would love it, but it might get stolen. <laughs> um, Harry Potter, the Noble Collection, Holiday 2018. I've never heard of this either. The Noble Collection. This is all Harry Potter. Oh, cool. There's some superhero and Marvel, uh, sorry, DC Comics stuff in here. Um, Harry Potter stuff, of course. Again, really great images. These catalogs and this paper is really nice. Really cool. I mean, dragons, dragon eggs. And there's another one. Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grind Grindelwald, and another noble collection. I'm so out of it, I have no idea. It looks like a similar catalog with similar stuff in it. The cover is just different. But it has some of the same pages in it of um, merchandise. Cool! Connie, thank you so much. I will... Get y'all some footage next of my husband opening his package. So stay, hang on a minute. Before the hubby gets home from work and opens his Happy Mail, I was gonna open those seahorses and starfish. I will tell you, these are much more eco-friendly than the ones I actually own. And don't get all mad at me because they were from the estate of someone who was an old time crafter. She passed away, this was like 15 years ago. And she had a collection of miniature seashells, dried starfish, dried seahorses um, in her possession that she probably bought 20 years before that. I inherited them. I have some here. I've passed a few on to friends. I prefer the plastic. These are great. These little plastic seahorses are wonderful, Connie. And the starfish. Where did you get these? Let me know in the comments below, Connie, where you got those because I'd love to know. Those are cool. I'm gonna put them with the other ones in my bin of nature. Yeah, we have a bin of nature. All right, I'll be back. Oh, here's Fred. Fred's here. He just got home from work and he's so surprised he has YouTube fans and that you all, that Connie sent him happy mail. I know, I didn't know I had one, I had a fan. You have a I, fan. I, I told you fan. people like you, Fred. Then I gotta keep doing Fred. You do. I so keep doing Fred. I'm gonna move the camera around and we're gonna see what Fred got in his happy mail. I saw, the peak of something poking out. I think he might actually like it. He'll be maybe lucky I don't steal it, but let's see. A little something for your hubby. Okay. She even like tied it with a bow and everything. I know, it's got a nice little, nice little string. Look at that yeah. string. Yeah, see? Look at this. It's in a Ziploc bag. I know you like Ziploc bags. I don't buy them anymore because they're, they're plastic. I know. <laughs> Just something for your hubby. Sharps. Uh-oh. Okay, what's this? Exacto? Cool. I got some Exacto blades. Ex needles. Cool. Miniature needles. Oh, neat. oh, for your miniatures. Miniatures. You know what those are? Those are miniature files. 
Let me see. Oh, those are cool. Oh, yeah, look at those. It's those cool. are nice. Yeah. Those are going to come in handy. Yeah, no kidding. And then what's this? <gasps> I got... Oh, look at these scissors. Look at those. Holy cow, do they look sharp. Looks cool. I got some... I got a hemostat. Hemostat. I don't need to steal that because I already have my own. Yeah, look at this. I like right. this. The fabric's nice, fabric. right? Yeah. Maybe you can use those for padding or something on your desk. Yeah, She absolutely. sent a whole stack of them. Uh-huh. So there's more of that if you want more scraps. Nice. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank, thank you, Connie. We really yes. appreciate the happy mail. Yep. If any of you all want to send happy mail, the address is in the description below along with a list. There's a link down there. If you click on it, you're going to get a whole bunch of places you can find, I guess, us now on the Internet and follow social media and all that jazz. So Sounds anyway... Good. All right. Thank you. Connie. Go out. Have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And yeah, we love Happy Mail. Thanks, Connie. Yes. Thank you. Bye, guys.